The demand for gasoline and middle distillates, including aviation fuels, has risen significantly, while refining capacity has only shown a modest increase, if any. This growth in demand and the increase in refining capacity has significantly raised refinery utilization rates and tightened the downstream market, raising serious concerns over a potential supply gap in the downstream oil market. This issue is particularly prevalent in the United States, where low surplus refining capacity and stringent oil product specifications have resulted in reduced flexibility in the refining sector to adjust to changes in seasonal demand patterns. The economics of oil must be taken into account as it is a depleting non-renewable resource, and the cost of extraction of a non-renewable resource depends not only on the current production rate, but also on the amount of cumulative production. Crude oil prices behave much as any other commodity, with wide price swings in times of shortage or oversupply. The crude oil price cycle may extend over several years, responding to changes in demand as well as supply. Many pundits believe that the projections of running out of oil are based on geology, not price. Every existing oil reservoir has more than half of the original oil in place, many with more. There are resources that we know exist. We know where they are and what the oil looks like. Much of the crude oil that is left is trapped in tiny pores and cannot be recovered by simple pumping, and more advanced and expensive procedures are necessary to recover the crude oil. Another aspect of crude oil economics is the cost of refining. Refining high sulfur crude oil also requires greater expenditures for energy. In fact, energy accounts for approximately half of the refinery cost. Refinery location is yet another variable. The closer a refinery is to the crude oil source and the demand, the lower the transportation costs. Otherwise, the refinery must factor in the added cost of getting the products to market. Other variables to consider in crude oil economics is the price of crude oil and the crude oil quality. High viscosity, high sulfur crude oil can cost up to one-third less than low viscosity, low sulfur crude oil. However, because high sulfur crude oil requires more processing, refineries that buy primarily cheap crude oil incur more fixed expenses for equipment and labor. While there is a growing need to address these issues, there exist barriers and constraints to the older oil person and the neophyte alike, as well as the economist. Often the terminology employed by the industry is so confusing that the ensuing issues and the issues involved in oil pricing and oil product pricing are a mystery. In addition, many economists are unable to explain the economics of oil and oil product pricing without recourse to higher mathematics. The result is the development of complex equations that are often difficult to understand and for the technical person in industry, appear to bear little relationship to what he understands in terms of oil properties. Thus, it is appropriate to commence this course with a description of the historical uses of crude oil and crude oil terminology, leading you to a better understanding of the terminology of crude oil and the means by which it is described.